What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the brothers Murph, and we're in a car right now. We are. Why? Form of the day. Because we're, I don't, you know, <laughs> and we're on a racetrack. No, we're in we're in a dusty uh, parking lot of a thrift store in the valley. What city are we in right now? North Hollywood? I have no idea where we are. I think we're in Panorama City. Oh, okay. Maybe. We're north of where we live, somewhere LA in the valley. LA cities make no sense. We're deep in the valley now, folks. And the reason is we're going to a thrift store. Now, many folks uh, found us first on the Dice Tower doing thrift store throwbacks. We love thrift stores. Uh, I just love all the weird things you may find. Yeah. And there's a lot of good thrift stores here in Los Angeles. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the curtain yeah. for Adventures in Board Gaming this week. And we're going to show you a little bit of uh, some of the just weird things we find in the thrift stores and why we love them so much. So we are at the uh, Valley Mission. Yeah, Valley Mission, Valley Rescue Mission thrift store. Right. I actually used to work here. We used to volunteer here here. Uh, the rehab I used to work with, we I used to run the volunteer program. So we used to yep. actually come here because they house families here. Yeah. Families uh, usually of like domestic abuse or homeless families and stuff like that. It's a really um, cool yeah, uh, it's thrift really store cool. We used to uh, chain. Yeah. yeah, But it's also a great thrift store that tends to have a lot of games. Yeah, so we're going to see if we can find any games. We'll show you like... When we go on these these game hunting excursions and stuff, we're going to show you kind of like how it goes, what process? we find, what's yeah. it look like. Uh, it looks mostly like two dudes in a thrift store, but uh, join us for that right now. Let's get up in there. Hey Nick, uh, any chance you think I can get a bike today? Are there any bikes for sale? No, there's no bikes, man. No bikes? No, nope. sorry. Really? No, can't, can't find one. Cause I want to walk this out. Like I just, I'm tired of using only my own legs. So I really feel like a walker, but they don't have those here either. What do you call me? But is it working? <laughs> it's no longer working. <laughs> Stop filling me. Continue the bit. Nope. Go ahead. Nope. Finish the bit. So they always start you off with yeah. clothes and stuff. What you got to do is find the games. Let's see if there's anything to buy. Hey, you know what? They're always near all the kids' stuff. That's insulting. Okay? Okay? Where's a couple big kids? Found one. It's probably terrible. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to get this. But one thing I also want to show is this thing. We used to have one of these at our Grandma Jane's house. One of these labyrinth things. I'm, I don't think I ever got past like the first hole. I, I was so bad so at it. So fun. And I'm probably still just as bad at it. But oh, this brings back a lot of memories. Five bucks, not a bad deal. We literally just reviewed this. Now we didn't return this to here. This is a different... It's this weird thing where like board games show up in threes. Like yes. once you see one, you find it everywhere. Exactly. And as always, we continue to be haunted by the past. Everywhere you go, you find Twilight everywhere. Twister Dance? What's Twister Dance? We're not gonna play it, so I'm curious. I'm curious. It's not a good two players, three to seven. Look how hip these kids are. Do your own thing. It's like a DVD. That look is Look awesome. at their belts, their, their belt game, Mike. So we like to come here to the rescue mission thrift stores because they tend to have a lot of games for whatever reason. Certain places like Goodwills tend to not have games. Don't know why that is. Uh, they always have a good selection. And one thing you'll see as you come through, it's always gonna be a lot of scenes. Okay. Something, sometimes things start talking at you. I have no idea what just happened. There's a bunch of random things. There's gonna be some like, would you rather as party games. And there's always gonna be puzzles. I've been tricked so many times where I'm like, oh my gosh, this might actually be a cool game. No, it's just an okay puzzle. It would be a great game. It's a mediocre puzzle. But you just gotta go th dig through, see? Puzzle. Okay. Okay. Puzzle and something that's haunted. There's puzzles and haunted goods, and that's what I love about thrift stores. Ooh, what is that? Health meter baby scale. Weigh, weigh your baby and find out how much it's worth. We all know in the black market, babies are worth $4 a gram. Really find out how much they're worth and get that baby out of there. Get a nice fat baby first. All jokes aside, that scale thing does seem more appropriate than just like putting your baby on the floor of your bathroom scale. I mean like, looks healthy. Am I getting this? Yeah, sure am. Sometimes you find just straight up gems. Four bucks? Yeah, sweet lunch pail. That's legitimately awesome. Is there a bat inside? It's not a bat inside, but that's okay. Uh, talk about chash keys on top of the thing. Putting this on top of the shelf. I see you again, Dolph. 
I'm raise you a halfling. Where'd you, seriously, where'd you find that one? There's so many of them. <laughs> I didn't see that. You can't find them for they're near the ground and small. In the Shire. Frodo. Okay, we're almost done with the game section. There's one more thing I have to talk about. This happens all the time. Take a look behind me. You'll notice a thousand cookie tins. Thrift stores almost always put cookie tins with board games. It's very common. This happens across different companies. Who started this trend? Why are there, why so many cookie, cookies and games and kids? The, they just don't understand humans at all. It's weird. But with that said, we're getting lunch boxes. We don't mess around at the thrift store. That's how we do. Okay, so we're here in our craft room, which is just where we sit to play board games. It's just, all of it's our house. It's our, it's our craft room. It's, it's, it's our baby making room. <laughs> Sorry. Everything Sorry. happens here. Everything but board games. Indeed. So, we have our game of Lord of Rings, the card game. And so what our plan is, is to take this game and transfer it to somewhere more appropriate. More appropriate. Now, you saw us when we were at the thrift store, we were joking around about these lunch boxes we found that are based on the films, uh, which is actually kind of a weird find now. Like, these movies came out, the last they're one came not, out 15 years ago. They're not new. Which is crazy. They're not new. So, like, we found these, and we're like, these are awesome, and if you open that bad boy up right there, it looks like a good board game to me. All right, that's just open space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cardstock, um, not even that thick, and we're gonna use uh, some hot glue guns, and we're gonna basically make some dividers and see if we can't, like, turn this into our game. And it just holds, you know, it'd be yeah. like a cool little way to hold. So the game. I guess the ge general thing, and we're gonna time lapse and stuff. We're gonna try and make it separate so we can separate the different like factions. There's like four factions: leadership, spirit, tactics, and uh, lore. And so we have try to separate stuff. So, like as Mike said, we have some black card stock. It's kind of hard to see, but this is the black, black card on black here. on black. We By the way, yeah, we did roll back the game topper. Oh topper. yes. Oh gosh, you don't want to accidentally cut into your game topper. Not in the because that would downgrade your gaming experience. We're trying to upgrade our game experience with GameToppersLLC.com. All right. So, but we have this card stock here. It's gonna go in here. We're just gonna try to see if we can't make something that makes sense to us. It's mm -hmm. a fun little craft project. Come along with us. We'll see if we can come come up with something that's halfway decent. We'll see. All right. here now this they had more room than i thought i thought we were gonna mega run out of room and we mega didn't yes so here's the thing i because i wasn't sure if this is gonna be like an actually a decent way to store this now okay so with these the reason why we have all this crumpled up paper in here is one again we didn't have as much room as we well we have more room than we thought rather that was gonna be packed in toy which is good because like this is a game we're gonna expand for like ever Probably, yeah. um, and it's good because we have tons and tons and tons of room, and I really think this could be a good one. We may have to um, touch up the uh, dividers. We went with like like poster board cardstock because we didn't want to use foam board because we thought it was going to take up too much space. Yeah, and now we're like, oh, oh right. no, we had so much space, so we may take it out because the foam board would be more sturdy. Although it's pretty darn sturdy. Yeah. And then for this, this is all the enemy cards in the Frodo one. Nope. And then all the hero cards are in that one. Protected by Gandalf the White. Indeed. And all the the uh, the enemy ones are here like this. They're not separated because what we're going to do is print out dividers so we can separate them. Because these kind of just need to be separated by type, the four different types. These need to be separated by each individual scenario. We'll probably and still get dividers here just to label like lore. And yeah, spirit. exactly. Mm -hmm. But this one, it's like we would have to make... I, 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 oh, we already have like... Uh, 20 scenarios. We'd have to make that many dividers and it's like, no way. Yeah. We'll just print out the dividers and put it in between so we can easily find them. Yeah, and we may upgrade like foam, you know, foam board Probably. and stuff. But like, this is just like a fun first try. We're like, well, let's try this and so we might come back to this yeah. and, and continue to do it. But the idea is like, it'd be kind of cool like have this on the shelf and like actually have it be kind of cool but then also be functional and actually holds like 
a game inside it. So, yeah, so, I don't know. Give us uh, your thoughts and comments below. If you've done anything like this where you've created a box, we created our own box for Legendary. We did. And we still have aspirations to kind of deck it out art-wise with uh, comic stuff, uh, but so far haven't. And this is kind of our next foray into this, and we might uh, upgrade it and change it over time. But have you done anything like this before where you've kind of created your own custom boxes and things or uh, foam core inserts? Let us know in the comments below ways that you have kind of created storage and stuff for your own games. Yes. And so, yeah, it's cool finding these at a thrift store and then being like, hey, let's um, let's use them. They're yeah. not only the Lord of the Rings, which we love, like we actually have a use for them. And it was pretty cool. So um, so I guess that concludes Adventures in Board Gaming. Yeah, Craft Edition. Ooh. Boom. We're not good at this, obviously. <laughs> like, I'm watching be like, you guys suck at this. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. But that, really do crafts. Is, you know? It's DIY. Do it yourself. Figure it out. And learn and then get better. That's right. That's all. That's right. So, folks, one thing you can do is you can help uh, decide the order in which our adventures and board gamings come out. Indeed. We uh, put polls out on our Patreon. Anyone can participate in the poll, but we love it as an opportunity for you to get to know what things we try to offer and what we're trying to build. Uh, we're all about community goals yeah. on our Patreon. And uh, give a thought to supporting us on Patreon while you're there. But you can always go there to vote on what episodes of Adventures in Board Gaming you want to see next. Where do you want us to go? What do you want us to play? Yeah. We'll always have kind of some options of things we're considering doing. Uh, so participate in that conversation. Help yeah. dictate what you want to see. Uh, and maybe we can try to do more craft, craft stuff like this. Because yes. this was actually kind of fun. This is just... Yeah, yeah, these are dope. We just got lucky that we found these in the thrift store. It was pretty cool. It. That's why you go to thrift store. Sometimes you run into something that's actually really cool. Just like that. Anyway, that's going to be it for us, everybody. Indeed. Just uh, remember while you're out there, out and about... Just play games, man. Be visible. The best thing we can do for this hobby is to be visible. So yeah. people can see what's going on. the best way to evangelize. On. Be visible. And and uh, that's what our whole mission is, is getting out there in the world, playing some board games. And this makes a nice little portable way to bring Lord of the Rings LCG wherever we go. And uh, that's it, man. You got anything else? No. Nope. Just remember that life's an adventure. So bring a game. <sighs> hey, guys. I just want you to know that we have a Patreon and I'm hanging in here waiting for the next patron so maybe you guys can help me out before I fall because I don't have much strength, man. I might go down. Also, you can subscribe to us. I feel really unsafe. I think I'm going to fall. Mike, Mike, Mike. Huh? What are you doing? You're attached to a rope. Well, yeah, but they, yeah, but it still looks dangerous. Like that rope can hold up a Camry. You can just let go, you know. Can I? Yeah, you'll be fine. Are you sure? You want to see? You, you, you shouldn't just, yeah, you're fine. Oh. You're fine. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, abuse the Patreon thing like that, you know? Yeah, you're right. You know what? I need to be taking down a peg or two. Can you lower me? Lower? Sorry. You can still subscribe if you want. Yeah, you know. You can upgrade your game experience with Game Toppers LLC if you want. Yeah. Or check out Restoration Games, but you know what? Don't do it for me and my fear mongering tactics. Okay, well, you know what? Hey, that was on you. Did you see that? That was on you. Did you see that? That's on record.